Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. It's Monkey Mid here again for more Kiss Bootleg Madness. I've got Boba Fett with me, uh, he's going to join us for this session again. And uh, let's crack on, shall we? Now where did I leave off last time? Destroys Anaheim Part 1. So what would come next? I think it's going to be Part 2. There we have it. Kiss Destroys Anaheim Part 2. Uh, now this is uh, very different. Uh, the cover is very different to the original uh, Kiss Destroys Anaheim Part 2. The original one um, back in the day had a cover of Gene on the stage kneeling down in front of the audience and everyone's got their fists up in the air sort of thing. I don't know if you remember that cover. Um, but um, the... Um, the carton series for this one they've actually changed the cover slightly uh, in fact a lot so instead you get a picture of kiss walking down the streets of new york i'm guessing that's new york um so this is from the carton series uh, the, i think i've told you this before i don't have to run through it but i will they do all the re-releases of the old um uh, kiss classics kiss classic for bootleg albums like sneak attack fried live blitz london all those takes tokyo Anyway, I shall just move the OBI just slightly so you can get a, an idea what it looks like. Because that normally covers things up a little bit. So there you go. So, okay. So, that's the front. And uh, I shall show you the back. There you go. And it's a nice picture of Ace there uh, from 75. So, not the, the right year uh, for this concert. But uh, it could be worse could be a picture of Gene Simmons from the asylum period well, that'd be crap wouldn't it anyway uh, Black Diamond is the extra track on here it's from uh, Hempstead New York on the 23rd of August 1975 just an extra track they put on the end of this uh, Destroys Anaheim uh, album I don't know why they do that for me personally I like to uh, have a, a bootleg album or bootleg CD as just one show one venue one concert um, I don't like little bits tagged on the end, but that's just a personal thing. Okay, it's just me being a pernickety. Um, but anyway, um, you get an extra track, Black Diamond. Okay, and the sound quality of this is the same as the original series that came out, Destroys Anaheim, uh, back in the day. So, and if you remember last time, I told you that uh, the um, uh, Carton series they have a little sticker on the front, a coloured sticker. It's normally red, uh, blue, or white. And that would uh, tell you what uh, color vinyl you're going to get inside here. So as this is a blue spot, I'm guessing it's a blue a vinyl. Should we check it out? I think we should. There we go. Surprise, surprise! It's a blue vinyl on both sides. And uh, I'm not going to go on about this white label thing too much because you know my views on that. Could have made it a bit more interesting. I think these companies should actually hire me to do their bootlegs. Um, I'd have made it more a lot more interesting, but there you go. Can't have everything in life, can you? So. Okay, we're on to the next. One last look. There you go. There we go. So, what have I got now? This is a beauty. All right, I could sit here and just keep you waiting. Should I keep you waiting? Nah, I wouldn't do that. Here we go, guys. This is a beauty. I hope I haven't built this one up too much. Do you think it's a beauty, Boba Fett? Yes. Check this one out, guys. Kiss, Gothenburg, 1980. Uh, now, this is the full show from Gothenburg on the 10th of October, 1980, on the Unmasked Tour. I uh, just want to state that there's two versions of this cover. I've opted for the black and white cover, which has got a splash of orange, yellow, and red in it. So it's like a black and white, but with those colors uh, incorporated into the cover. You can get a full color version of this, um, but I didn't want the full color version of it because uh, the vinyl was pink. Uh, I've got nothing against pink vinyl. I just didn't fancy pink, you know, nothing to do with my sexuality or whatever. I just didn't want pink, that's all. So the black and white one, uh, as this one is, this comes in a red vinyl. Okay, I just didn't want pink. I wanted red vinyl. So there you go. So it comes with the OBI strip. Very nice. I like the presentation of this one. To show you the inside. There we go. Black and white pictures in here. So if you bought the pink vinyl version, 
or the colored the cover version all these pictures are the same but they'll be in color I think they're the same anyway but uh, I'm not 100% sure but certainly it's color inside and that's the back of it and again the same applies this picture will be color okay on the pink vinyl version so there you go so very nicely done there and um, let's check out the vinyl okay this is the red vinyl version as I said to you before now each label on this uh, double album set has got a different uh, members face on it so on side a we have ace on there I don't know if you can see it I'll bring it nearer there you go and side B we have mr. Simmons on here there you go it's very nicely done let's have a look at the second record right there. This is the second part of the concert. So on side C, we have Mr. Carr there. There you go, got it. And then on side D, surprise, surprise, we have Mr. Stanley. There you go. Now, when I was playing this record, I quickly looked at the run out groove and it's got a, a website that you might want to check out. I'm gonna check it out after this. Uh, it's www.gzvinyl.com, uh, okay? That's gzvinyl.com. Uh, might be worth checking out just to see uh, what other things they've got, if that is a legitimate website, okay? So it's gz.com, okay? Check it out. Might find some other goodies on there. So that's that. That's the Gothenburg. But it doesn't end there. There's more. Well, there should be more because I paid more money for it. Okay. This comes with a very, very nice. Well, I know what you're going to say. This is, oh, this is the Unmasked poster. Uh, it comes with the Unmasked album or the American Import Unmasked album. Anyway, no big deal sort of thing. But this Unmasked poster is a little bit different because, as you can see, Mr. Carr is on there and Mr. Chris is not. So there you go. So you get the unmasked poster with Eric Carr and not Peter Chris on there, okay? And this poster is also a little bit, um, a little bit smaller than the one that came with the unmasked album, okay? So there you go. Very nice. And it doesn't end there. It continues, and it bloody well should, because it cost me a lot of money. This one. There you go, it comes with a reproduction of the KISS 1980 Unmasked Tour program. Now, when they say reproduction, it's not quite, because the picture on the front here is a little bit different to the uh, Unmasked Tour. The same photo shoot, but just a different pose slightly. And I'm gonna show you the inside, because all the pictures on the inside are also different. So, there we go, that's that. And for those of you who've got the original Unmasked program, you would know what I'm talking about. It is different. There you go, a bit of literature there for you to read. So, pictures of Gene here that you may have seen or may not have seen. Okay. Uh, Mr. Stanley there. Nice pictures. Okay. And we have Rock and Roll All Night or Black Diamond, probably, a clip from there at the end of the show or something. There you go, nice picture. And we have Mr. Friday there. Black Les Paul, very nice, nice pictures. And then we have Mr. Carr here. Again, nice pictures. More to come. There's more. Oh, yeah. Should be more for the price I paid for it. There you go. More pictures. I always like that picture of Mr. Stanley with um, the top hat. I like that. And uh, last but not least, last page, and it's got all the uh, tour dates for the Unmasked tour. Um, they're all the um, uh, European dates. They don't include the Australian or New Zealand dates. And it's even got the uh, support acts for uh, for those particular nights. Uh, Iron Maiden. Who would have thought back in 1980? Eh? Iron Maiden would be. Uh, one of the biggest bands in the world so there you go and that's the back cover okay so you can see that this is uh, very different to the uh, original on Mars program uh, really but it's kind of like the same concept okay so that's that
I'll quickly show you that again. So get this if you can. It really is worth it. It's lovely, 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 and very lovely. There you go. So uh, a couple of videos ago, which was about probably about a year ago, or maybe nine months, I showed you this, which is uh, Fort Worth, uh, September the 4th and September the 5th, 1977. Now, I said to you, the CD was just way too expensive. This is an original, by the way. This is the copy, if you remember. And uh, it was on a Zodiac label, and it was really, really expensive. Uh, it's like £60. Uh, I'm quite happy to pay £60 for uh, a double album, uh, vinyl, but not CD. Uh, so this is just a copy someone did for me. And um, But luckily enough, a company has bought out, on silver disc, uh, Fort Worth 1977. So I don't really need this. Here we go. There you go. No Beast So Fierce. Bit of a weird um, title for that one. So No Beast So Fierce. Uh, this is Fort Worth, September the 4th and September the 5th, 1977. September the 4th is the full show. Uh, September the 5th is only about four or five tracks uh, uh, for that uh, particular day. Anyway, I'll show you this. This is on the Eat a Peach label. And uh, we all know about Eat uh, Eat a Peach, it's kind of like Godfather, uh, the Godfather label finished and then Eat a Peach took over. A uh, bit of a strange cover that one, I've never seen that picture. You might have done, but I, I haven't. That's the back. Okay. And here it comes. I'll show you the CD first. A Fierce Beast, that's the label. Bit uninteresting, I would have put a picture of the band on there, or Casablanca label, or some description. Uh, does come with an inner sleeve as well, uh, which again is a little bit a um, mm, bit rushed. I don't know it's the way it's being put together. I, I, I don't particularly like that. It's all right. It's like they're off cuts or something, and they just pieced it together. Uh, and there is also it's not really a booklet as such, but it's uh, just a sheet there. So that's the inside. That's obviously the Alive Two photo shoot. It's live too, and that's the back. Good night. There we go. So that is uh, no beast so fierce, which is a bit of a strange title that one. So I don't normally collect CDs, but I do like the Eat a Peach and the Godfather stuff. The only thing I would say is I wish they did these in uh, a tr uh, what Godfather used to do. They used to do a, a double CD where you can open it up, or even a trifold, so it's a triple gatefold open. You get loads of pictures. Uh, Eater Peach seems to have cut back a little bit on that kind of thing, so um, you only get sort of like a single cover. Still, very nice. Nice to see an original uh, one of this, not costing too much. This one cost me about eighteen pounds, which is about twenty-four dot, twenty-three dollars, not even twenty, twenty-two, probably about twenty bucks because the exchange rate is so rubbish now with the Americans. But there you go. So it'd be about twenty bucks for this. Sort of thing. There you go. Right. The good thing about uh, the uh, Fort Worth 77 uh, concert, it's on CD, but someone's actually bought it out on vinyl. Oh my God! And here it is. Whoa! There you go. Blood loss over Fort Worth. Um, this is the Fort Worth show on vinyl. Now, when you buy this, there is uh, there's the red vinyl version, the yellow vinyl version, and the black vinyl version. I think there's only three, as far as I know. Make sure when you buy it that you get the sticker on the front here as well. But that says red vinyl. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it up close. Red vinyl. Um, it just completes it. Uh, so make sure when you buy it, you get this outer plastic sleeve that's got the sticker on it. Okay. So let's open it up and have a look. Whoa. Check this out. Okay. It's got a nice OBI with it as well, sort of thing. Very nice. Very nice. Picture of the guys. Show you the inside. There you go. Nice pictures there. I would try and move that OBI to show you the picture, but it's quite tightly sealed, so um, I won't do that. So there you go. And the back here is done in a love gun style. So side A, side B, side C is the 4th of September, and side D would be the 5th of September, Fort Worth. Okay. Right, should we check out the vinyl? Oh, I won't show you all of them because they are the same, really. So it's a red vinyl, and that is the label for it, okay? Not loads of thought has been put into that label, but a bit better than the uh, carton series where it's just got white label. So, and that's 
that. But it doesn't end there. Because again, this costs big bucks. Okay guys, here we go. It does come with a very large poster. There we go. You can see that. Can you see that? The poster for Fort Worth. 1977, 4th and 5th September. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. Okay, so it comes with a poster. Which I shall fold neatly at a later stage. And it doesn't end there. It also comes with a reproduction of the 1977-78 tour program. Okay, so if you guys got the original uh, program, uh, you can tell that the pictures again on the front excuse me, are slightly different. I do have one here, just to give you a, that's the original program, okay, so you can see the pictures are different. And this is a lot thinner, the original program, this is a lot thicker, the reproduction, okay? So there you go. So you can see that the pictures are slightly different. Uh, I won't show you this, because most of you probably know what's inside this, but I will show you uh, the inside of this one, okay? The pictures are different, there we go. Some of these pictures look like they're uh, done by just members of the public, the audience, which I prefer because we've seen many pictures by Finn Costello and all the other KISS official photographers. We, we've seen all those. Um, and to have audience uh, photos, private photos, I think are far more interesting. Okay, And I think these are probably um, just <clears throat> done by uh, people in the audience by the looks of it. They're quite sort of, you know, they, they look a bit rough, a bit blurry. Obviously that's not... Um, um, but these could be done by the audience or something. So as you can see, the pictures are very different to the original program, if you've got the original program to compare it with. Okay, there we go. There we go, picture of Paul there. Good old Space Ace and the good old days. Kiss at their height, 77. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. A picture of Gene there. What's going on with Gene, that vault thing? 50,000 US dollars to have him come round to your house. Jesus Christ, what is happening to the world? Anyway, that's another story. I could harp on about that all day. Anyway, there you go. Literature, pictures. Paul Stanley. Gene again. Peter. Good old days. The golden years of Kiss. Wish we had a time machine. There we go, and there's a picture there of the Fort Worth um, tickets. Oh, I'd love to have a set of those, have them framed. And, oh, there we go. Oh, no, it's more pages. Wow. Value for money or what? There you go. And there you go. And that's the back of it. Okay, so that is the reproduction uh, program that should come. No, it's not that it should. It definitely. 100% will come with the uh, album if you want to be a completist that comes with the album okay so that's that and that I won't, can't do the post because I've only got two hands there you go so just quickly back back and that that is definitely well worth getting beautiful album beautiful album right boys and girls that just leaves me to say goodbye but I will try and do uh, a uh, someone's asked me to do the uh, Japanese import KISS albums, which I will do one day when I get the time. And I'm also going to do a session on uh, KISS uh, official albums, but rare ones, like different pictures, different serial numbers, different labels. For all you geeks that are really into that sort of thing, I will do one when I get the time. Uh, so that just leaves me to say it's good night from him, good night from me, and I'll see you soon. Keep living, keep enjoying life. See you later, guys. Adios.